1900 BC, Britain, Stonehenge to be precise. We've arrived a day or two before the equinox, and believe me, equinox at Stonehenge is incredible. Oh, and um, you two will have to change into clothes appropriate to this period in history. Oh, and it's pretty chilly outside, so dress warmly. Doctor, why haven't you changed? What do you mean? I've put my scarf on. Approaching, we'd better hide. Who are they, Doctor? They're a gathering of druids. They're here to pray for a good new year. What? There is someone else here. Who goes there? And what are you doing in this sacred place? We are simple travellers from a distant land. I'm known as Blade Drug, and these are Emma Phillips and George Barton. I am Peridur, and these are Morkant and Lugabellinos. We are the keepers of the Circle of the Sun. Couldn't help noticing that strange object inside this great stone ring. Might simple travellers such as ourselves be allowed to know what it is? It is a gift from the gods. The gods sent us a messenger, Rotsis was his name, from the heavens to give this sacred artifact to our people. He said that the gods would bless us all if we placed it in the Circle of the Sun. Rotsis has been a guest in our village for quite some time. You may meet him if you so wish. We will be honoured. Who is there? It is I, Peridur. Three people have travelled from a distant land to meet you. Let them in. Leave us in peace. Your word is my command, my lord. You do not dress like the people here. Well, that's because I'm not from here. I'm a Time Lord from the planet Gallifrey. I'm known as the Doctor. Ah, so you are a Time Lord. You're a long way from home, Doctor. I am a Nokem from the planet Noctia. Yes, I thought I recognised that piece of equipment in the stone ring. It looks like a device for summoning spaceships. So I'm assuming that you're stuck here. Yes, Doctor. I tried to summon my ship, but it got stuck midway. The generator is broken. Perhaps with a bit of Time Lord technology, I could get home. I could take you in the TARDIS, of course. My mate and six young are on board that ship. I can't leave them. No, the ship has to be summoned here. I understand. Well, uh, when would be a good time to repair the generator? Tomorrow would be ideal. Well, Rotsies, I believe we have a deal. I can't help thinking that something's not quite right. There's something very odd about Rotsies. What do you think, Doctor? I thought so too. I'll keep an eye on him tomorrow.
Do you love your family, Rotsis? Of course I do. The reason I ask is that if that were my family stuck in that spaceship, I'd grab the very first opportunity possible to save them. You waited. Why? Do you have a family, Doctor? Yes, as a matter of fact I did. I was once a father, and a grandfather, but not any more. Now why did you wait? Where is your family now? I lost them all, in a horrible war, along with the rest of my species. Now please answer my question. Why did you wait? At dawn tomorrow, there will be an energy strike on an unimaginable scale. I had to wait, because if I didn't, the fuel absorbers on this device would start to crystallize, rendering it useless and my family trapped forever. Can we please talk about something else now? It should be any minute now. What a perfect time for the winter sunrise. Praise the gods! I must thank you, Doctor. Without you, this wouldn't be possible. And now, I have a surprise for you. Let me reveal... Unless we do something, history will change!